I was invited to staff a tournament by my former teammate Hashire, so I asked more about it, seeing if he was serious about hosting the tournament. It was planned to be a 3v3 with a team size of 5 within the 85k to 150k rank range. Oh, fuck staffing. I might as well play in it. Hashira's tournament, as well as Hoshi Fury, was called Uma Musume All Stars, or Uma for short. So, the whole gimmick will come from the map pool having at least one song from Uma Musume. Yeah, that's it. Well, alongside the country Brunei, I didn't know about Uma Musume's existence until I met Hashire. So, what is Uma Musume? Is this some anime? You can tell that I'm uncultured because apparently it's a really popular anime that I've never heard of in my life, grossing billions of dollars in revenue from the show and the game as well. So it's just horse girls? What the fuck? Who would watch this? I guess we shouldn't judge a book by its cover. So to prepare for this tournament, I've decided that I would watch Uma Musume so I'd get the advantage when the song I recognize gets pulled. I don't think most animes are for me. An anime series that I recently watched that comes to mind is the Shinkai Makoto trilogy with your name being the most popular anime for a good reason, the success of Weathering With You which I personally like more and one of Makoto's earlier movies 5 centimeters per second. A fucking depressing ass movie that makes me want to fucking die. Well anyway, I really like these movies because I felt some sort of attachment or connection towards the characters. The point I'm making here is that these characters feel human as you see them react to the events around them and the emotions they express. But then jumping in blind into Uma Musume and it felt kind of overwhelming due to the over-exaggerated expressions that the characters present. <laughs> I know this is normal for anime, having these cute girls act in this childish nature, but I always found them cringe and annoying to watch. This is probably why anime has such a bad stigma to like, normal people. It's easy to stereotype anime as childish when you show a bunch of girls with the mannerisms of a 7 year old as an introduction. They aren't going near that shit with a 7 foot long pole. Instead, they're going to watch real adult shows like whatever mindless garbage there is on Netflix. We have 10 20 year olds living in a 5 million dollar house. <laughs> I honestly don't remember a lot on what happens in the first three episodes. I think I just got bored and zoned out. But maybe it'll get better on with episode four with the- oh, oh shit, I'm in the middle of a map. I don't get it. What's with me and not recording my qualifiers? So I'm gonna try and remember what happens. Anywho. My IVC video is pretty influential in that it was the reason why some of my teammates are playing in the first place. So our team name is just going to be a link to the video to share the influence around as well with free promotion. Oh fuck off. So we rocked up to the qualifier lobby as watch my IVC video to compromise with the guidelines. Qualifiers weren't too bad for our team. I top scored no mod 1, trashing all the other D rankers in the lobby. That was my peak. It was all downhill for me from there. My teammate and I threw no mod 2 as well with throwing no mod 3, which was fine because those maps sucked anyway. I could have peaked with no mod 4, but I found an unfortunate miss because of nerves. CGX carried us with the hidden maps while top G or crib with the hard rock maps. Well, mainly Hard Rock 2. In the last mod, we have the DTs, with DT1 being the opening for Uma Musume Season 1. Okay, that's probably one of the upsides so far with the show. The OP goes hard, honestly. It makes horse racing pretty exciting to watch. I've decided that I would watch Uma Musume so I'd get the advantage when the song I recognize gets pulled. Okay, I've been preparing for this. I'm about to go hard on this map. Watch this. Ooh. Yeah. DT isn't for me. I'll just let my team play through DT2. In the meantime, I need to catch up on this anime. I still didn't explain what Uma Musume was about. So you have these horse girls, specifically this one called Special Week, dreaming of becoming the best horse girl in Japan to make her mother proud. We see Special Week get closer to her dreams throughout the show by joining a team, training with them, and then racing with other horse girls in competition. That's 
pretty much the whole premise of the show. There are some side stories with the other girls, such as Suzuka recovering from a leg fracture due to an incident during a race for example. I actually was more engaged with Suzuka than the main story. I like the premise of Suzuka's situation, which brings up a real obstacle that can happen within competitive level sports. Seeing her overcome her injuries was a delightful character arc to go through. Special Week's story just felt generic with the whole I want to be the best plotline and covered with main character plot armor, she obviously gets the title. Now, with myself as the main character of this video, it's clear that the script writers for this tournament are gonna cover me with plot armor so I can win that sweet 4 months of supporter. Oh shit, we qualified. Oh wait, everyone qualified. Sign out with the DT2 pick from our opponents, I was subbed out, so watch the live stream instead. Oh, oh, it's a oh, what? <laughs> Loli Moto, the only FC. No! <laughs> they just, they just competed oh, against him. Loli what Moto. is this? I'm sorry. So, okay, got <laughs> CJX and Loli Moto with supporting combo. But Noble is kind of carrying away. And our boy. Holy shit. They're kind of running away with this. Oh, this is disaster. I mean, these yeah, are still pretty good scores, team. but looks like the yeah, it looks like the other team got it. Yeah. I didn't really have a game plan. I'm like, lol, I'll just play video yeah. game. What, are we just hidden two? Maybe? Wait, are they good at hidden two? Oh, no, nah, look, the, the, hard, the hidden two scores higher. Wait, oh, I'm not looking at the right one. Oh, it's still pretty good, though. Okay, maybe not. Not Hard Rock 2. Um... Oh, wait, what about number four? Oh, fuck my accuracy. <laughs> I didn't expect to drop down that bad. Okay, we kind of clutched it. Barely, we did terrible. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, how much do we win by? It's, yeah, 42k is still very little. Oh my god. <laughs> I was pretty excited for the hidden 2 pick, considering I suggested to pick it before. It was a pretty easy map with a lower star rating than the average, so I was pretty comfortable with playing it anyway. Yeah, look at that. CG, CGX and I can carry. <laughs> we can carry, don't worry. I think we got it, surely. The ending kind of threw me off a bit. Oh yeah, I think we, yeah, we all miss. Look at that, we did pretty, we did pretty well. All right, three mod one. I don't want to keep picking the no mod maps. <laughs> I will try hidden. This might be, this might be disaster, or it might clutch around. Okay, I see why I didn't play with hidden because uh, but it's 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 kind of hard to read. <laughs> Probably my accuracy is kind of bad with it. Yeah, my, my accuracy is not, not so cash money. I was looking at it, I was like, why do I have like an, like a full combo, but my accuracy is really bad. And I play it like, oh yes, it's kind of it's kind of dense. We could do a number five next, maybe. Yo, did you pick number five? Let's go. Gonna leave to play this map a bit. All right, we'll play it up to here. Oh fuck. Oh that's the middle of the map as well. Fucking score cap cringe. Ah the ending. <laughs> nah yeah, I don't think Oh it was so close though. Oh it's kinda of through. Ah 
Okay. Okay. I think we'll do no mod. We'll do no mod one. <laughs> I did FC earlier before. I got like 96 pack, I think. They just said they didn't like no mod one. <laughs> Wait, on the stream? Yeah, no mod one's always usually such a toss up. Usually yeah. I like to save it for if we need a. or if we don't have any picks and we need a breakpoint or something. That's, that is true though, we don't have any picks left. <laughs> I don't know what to pick. We're kinda... It's just the first to shit miss, basically. Yeah. This lol, don't choke. Yo! <laughs> oh fuck! I watched the FC. All right, I think CGX got this anyway. Yeah, we got it. CGX with the fucking carry. I don't want to fight. Oh no! I think I want to. Gave the point to the wrong dude. Oh rip, the VOD was muted. Number 2 was probably the worst map in the pool in my opinion. And I'm sure a lot of players can agree. It's supposed to be streams and bursts, but the map was filled with these shit missable buzz sliders that weren't fun to play. We didn't win the point, so our final pick was a toss up between DT1 or Hidden 1. Give you 30 more seconds, I will flip a coin. Do I even have a coin? Okay, heads DT. Okay, maybe we're going hidden then. Okay. Okay, we clutched it in the end. I was pretty trash with the hidden one. So, uh, um, we'll see how we go. They just need at least one of them to keep on holding. No missing. And yeah. everyone misses Five there. Misses. Everyone besides Moo Battle. And he Moo misses. Miss though. This is a combo. <laughs> everyone missing. On the exact same note. We ran off of the lead, which means it's tiebreaker time. <laughs> Look at that. I haven't downloaded the map. This is what it's like. This is like. A good match. I'm not getting completely sweet by D rankers. But not also sweeping them because you're a D ranker. I think I have like pretty good score now. You know I did break. I don't know if that's enough anyway. Oops. The thing matters now. And now it's reaching this end. Wait, how how are you doing that? How are you doing that? But that's correct timing because we did clutch it in the end. Just like that, our near FCs won the match and we advanced through the winner's side. A small victory while we wait for our impending doom as we go against C2 next week. What better way to ignore it than by watching cute horse girls? To show how to structure with each episode, with some slice of life with a mixture of training at the beginning of the episode, which then leads to a race afterwards. It felt a bit repetitive, but it doesn't mean it was a bad thing, because it works. As the plot progression was easy to follow, but I wouldn't say it was a good thing, because it doesn't feel like any episodes really stand out in particular. To be honest, I enjoyed more of the racing parts. 
Some parts of the slice of life were a bit of a snooze, but it was obviously important to have that build up for the races. The way the races were animated and edited made horse girls run around circles feel intense to watch. Having the thoughts of the races set out loud along with the strategic nature on when they were going to start overtaking the other races adds to the intense build up to the final push. Additionally, the commentator's voices give the scene more of a dramatic and suspenseful tone which adds to the intensity as well well with keeping track of the race. The match was scheduled for Saturday midnight for me. I got home at 10. I was pretty much out for the whole day and when I got home I was feeling dead so I didn't stream. Instead I recorded myself playing quietly. Yeah DT let's go. I can't play this DT. Oh what's it like? I forgot but I did SC sight read. Oh my god. My, I had my mouse buttons enabled. That's why I like my, my inputs. So how did mouse buttons suddenly become enabled? So before the map we played in, the first attempt didn't load for some reason. I wanted to press F9 to open chat, but I ended up pressing F10 which is the binding to turn on mouse buttons. It didn't matter in the end because we were lost anyway. Number 2 was a comfort pick, as we were all pretty confident in FCing the map. With 2 FCs to none, we, we truly asserted our dominance there. Well, to return the favour, our opponents picked Hard Rock 1. We didn't have a third Hard Rock player. The player that was supposed to be filled in for Hard Rock kind of disappeared, so... Yeah, that didn't go smoothly. We pretty much got 1v3. Oh. Oh. Well, it's over. Lily's Osu crashed, so that was an instant loss. It was so doable though. Either Lily didn't disconnect, or I didn't miss everywhere and FC the long side CGX, then it would have been the point. <sighs> Let me live off my copium. I subbed out on Fremont 1 to practice our next pick, DT2. As I finished the map, I alt tab to see the stream to see the other team triple FC. I just sat there watching in silence as the lead got further and further away. Pretty much what was happening with 3 mod 1, but switched around so it's our team winning this time. With nearly a freeway FC, it was a convincing point to get. Hard Rock 2, okay. Well, an expected pick. Our poor performance on Hard Rock 1 meant it was time for the Hard Rock abuse. It worked with CGX and I struggling to get any accuracy or combo, while the other team ran away with a 1.2 million lead. And that is GG. The win goes to Fumo Axis. Who would have guessed? We lost against C2. Well, at least we can redeem ourselves in the losers bracket. We're going against C21 next week, so it's definitely going to be much more easier. The match was scheduled on Saturday 5 UTC, which was in the afternoon for me and the Filipinos, but 7am for Top G, who's in Germany. Well, I'm asleep. Good night. See you in six hours. I. So, uh, we agreed for a 2v3, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I saw a 2v3 not allowed. It's just an instant forfeit. Can we just do the 2v3 at this point? I just spent the last hour and a half what? fucking. No! Can you do 2v3? No. Nope. Yeah, so uh, half my team slept in. We have 15 minutes for at least one of them to wake up or we lose by default. I'll spam them on Discord. <laughs> okay. But do we just... What should we do? Oh dear. Oh dear. Please spam call. Okay, okay. 
we're getting him. We, this is how we get our teammates online. Oh, see, he uses fucking light mode. Oh. Ew. On Discord? Yeah. I'm watching his name. Oh, what a menace, bro. No. He didn't pick up. He's still asleep. <laughs> Shit. This is pretty scuffed, okay? This is pretty scuffed. At 510, you lose bands. Oh, fuck. Call again. Yeah, exactly. That's what I have to do. Go another one. Call him again. Oh, he's trying Actual so hard. I genuinely feel so bad. Disaster stream. Oh, hello, seven viewers. You came, you came at like the worst time possible. You're going to watch me lose by default. <laughs> oh, no, not to lose by default. This is just fucking sad. Bad start, bro. I don't think we were gonna start in the first place. Did your team even agree to the timing? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we have a scheduling sheet. They feel that's at times. We did it here. Look at that. Look at that. Everyone's free on the fifth on the five UTC. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. No. <laughs> oh. Uh, match start. Uh, I think it's a lost cause. I think I, I think I'm gonna accept my fate. All right, I guess, I guess we win, guys. Yeah. Yeah. yeah unfortunate. Yeah. As a last-minute decision, I asked the other team for a show match because I didn't want to stream a loss by default. I wanted to provide some content at least. Thankfully, they agreed, and it was a 2v2 between me and Loli versus Zemeto and Oops. I wasn't going to treat the show match seriously, I just picked maps that I enjoyed, as well as letting Loli pick anything they wanted. Oops. Well, that gets the FC. I, I tell you, we would have gotten that. I probably gone to FC. I hit that note a bit too early. What the hell is that? Yo, okay, we get... Oh, yes, he broke. I could have see that, but oh well. Yeah, okay, we got that. The low, the lowly mo molly carry. Close though, so. Yeah. It was honestly anyway. No that two. was a pretty damn close match. Mm -hmm. Even if it is a show match. It's still oh, you're watching my stream right now? What? Uh-oh. Hey, yo. Uh-oh, I'm scared. <laughs> They're gonna, they're gonna check our picks and bans and strategies here, guys. Wow, I fucking hit that perfectly. As I say that, I don't hit that one perfectly. What is that? That part sucks. Yeah, they got this. We got that. We got that. I don't know what to do, this Hey. Hi. That's pretty good. Hi, SAO. Oh, SAO. Thank you for the follow, my guy. Whoa, it's me. Whoa, it's you. Yeah. Whoa, also, it is you. Also, you use light mode? That's, that's kind of... Oh, hey, how the fuck did they know? <laughs> Bro. They don't, it's what oh my talking? god! <laughs> hey, 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 hey! I won't, I, I won't say anything bad about light mode. I'll just say you're ballsy. Your eyes must be in prime condition, cause I can't look at light mode for like two seconds without straining. Oh, I'm the opposite. I can't use dark mode. <laughs> like I don't know. I can't. I just can't read white text. Hey, he must be really good at like CSGO or like Valorant. If he can handle flashes like that, I'm just saying. I won't be surprised if he's like radiant just by handling flashes alone. 1k in CSGO though. What the Ooh. fuck? Bro, what? 1,000 hours? Do you Actually? play Valorant? Do I play Valorant? No. Oh, fuck Valorant. Hey, yo, we queue up with, uh, with our opponents. <laughs> fuck Valorant! Valorant. <laughs> Oh, the Nomad one. Play CS instead. No, fuck CS. No, I'll play my Valor instead. Thank you. <laughs> That's kind of funny, though. <laughs> oh.
Wait, why is this an old map? I hate this game so much. Ah, the mystery. The I overstreamed earlier. Ah. I'm scared to check the score. I'm fucking scared. I think they won that one. You did damn good though. Why do you think you they won? Ooh. It was close. It was really close. 300k. Oh yeah, yeah. Shit. <laughs> I overstreamed one part. Hold on, wait. I I have to throw a follow at SAS. Wait, hold on. Or sowing. Yes, follow me. Waiting for that follow. Let's go. There it is. Thank you for the follow. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Pow. Hard rock free. Fuck. Oh, he, well, they hate HR. Oh. oh. You know what? I can't say I blame them. No. That's a lie. <laughs> I love hard rock. I, I somehow fluked the FC. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling what? HR3. <laughs> I, it's a fluke. I, I am gonna fluke it. He said he can fluke it? Bro, I can fluke it, dude. Watch this. Watch this. No. Oh, fuck. Holy shit! What? Holy yeah, he... shit! Look at the score! No, he is fluking it. He is fluking. No! They're fluking the fucking Hard Rock SCs. I mean, to be fair, one of them doesn't even play. Yeah. Anymore. I'm just. Ah. Uh. No, fucking. Okay, what's the accuracy? What's it? I can't. All right, this skin, I can't see it. I swear it was a fluke. I swear it was a fluke. Oh, damn. Oh my god. Okay. Fucking. Oh, the one million point difference. Holy shit. Yeah, let's. You know what? Screw it. Get in free. Uh, uh oh. HD3? Uh. I'm doing this map not because I'm good at it, just because it's fun. <laughs> Oh, he has a B rank. Ooh. He's probably trash at this. Let's go. No. Oh, let's go. Are you guys one? Break point. Oh. Nope, you're so good. Oh, yeah, he had a pretty good combo. Uh, what? Look at this. Oh, oh, he just woke up. <laughs> one of my teammates just woke up. No. Oh, no. no. HR2 feels mean. We can hold off on HR2. If you want. Go for the jugular, nups. Yeah, go for the jugular. I. <laughs> I kind of wanna <laughs> DT1. <laughs> Unless it's no. banned. <laughs> wait, oh, wait, yeah, what if they bin? Oh, fuck. Is that double picking? They're gonna pick it. Monk. Monk RS. Monk RS. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sal. I'm sorry. <laughs> we can do this. <laughs> Fucking hard rock abusing us. BS. I can't play this one either. I really can't play this song either. I nah, that, that's cap. Bro, okay, 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 okay. You're peeping my stream, right, Sal? You wanna see my score for fucking no hard rock too? You wanna see this? Hold on, let me let me switch screens. Look at this, 160k, and that was like my best score. 
I played this map two more times, and I swear I got under 100k. <laughs> it's not cap, I promise. Oh, fuck my Oh my god. What? No way. No. What well, could have? No way. I could. No way. Way. I could have 1v2. No. <laughs> no way. If I didn't shit miss, I wouldn't die you, dude. Bro, give me your hard rock skill, SAO, please. Give me your hard rock skill. Pete, honestly, I should join, bro. Bro, please. Uh, show me the way on how to be a good OSU player, please. Bro. Best way to play HR. Don't care about hack, only combo. Also, three mod one. I'll dem one straight again. I'll demonstrate again. <laughs> oh, teach teach me your ways. I'll demonstrate free free mod one, hard rock, potentially curse FC. Oh no, the slider break. Ah uh, man, I broke way too much. I broke way too much. I'm sorry, noops. Ah! We won that. Yeah, we won that. We won that. <laughs> Don't look at my <laughs> my act is so bad. Don't worry. I'll, I'll check. I'll, I'll check. Smash. <laughs> oh! Oh, shit! Oh, Noob's act is pretty trash as well. We gotta get the Diamond City lights in there! <laughs> Noob's, do you believe? Yeah, okay, they're, they're gonna DQ right. abuse us. DQ abuse. Right. It's time! No, not the DT abuse. <laughs> what are you abusing them with? We're hitting them with Diamond City lights. Oh my god. <laughs> Diamond lights, rain the skies, and the night is no need to hide. Oh! Oh! Oh, fuck. Blue team, no! no! Yo, yo! <laughs> we won that, no way! Ah! That was so close! 1,000 points! Yo! 846, oh my god! Yo, tiebreaker! Yo, tiebreaker! I I think I already played this tiebreaker. I'm pretty sure I played this in another tournament I was in. Okay, mate. I I I lied. Never mind. I have not played this tiebreaker. Apparently, I must have played a different one. I feel I feel the same. Thank you, man. Honestly, I think playing tournaments reignited my love for the game. Even though, like, yeah, sometimes the map pool can be shit, or like, you know, your odds are stacked against you. It's just really fun just communicating with people and playing the game. It is what it is. I, I had a lot of fun, so I'm actually glad. I'm, you know, I guess it wasn't all bad that we lost by default, but yeah.
again, thank you again for the show match. It was really fun. And uh, yeah, we hope I hope to see you again uh, in your determined scene where we can just play some multis. By the end of the show match, we all expressed a mutual respect towards each other, and it was a really wholesome interaction to have. At the time of the match, I was really stressed out with university, as well with personal events, basically not having a great time of life. But stuff like this really make those difficult times better, compared to the countless hours studying or stressing about the future. So I thank them, as well as Loli, for one of my favourite matches I ever played. Holy fuck, I FC'd. What'd you FC? We FC tiebreaker! Jeez! Oh my god! The double FC! GG to Noobs and Zemato. A well deserved win, especially with that double FC at the tiebreaker. With performances like that, they will have beaten us in the actual match. <sighs> The loss by default was a pretty anticlimactic end to our run. With the turning ending so suddenly, what do I do now? I ended up getting used to the anime like characters in the show. They aren't too bad compared to something like VTubers, for example. I expect my paycheck by tomorrow. Also, why is a baby streaming? I'm not a baby! Ugh. Getting used to the show helped me with my engagement, with the first few episodes feeling like a chore to watch through, to me rushing home after work to binge the last few episodes. I did enjoy the show at the end of the day, but I don't think it's like some masterpiece or anything, just a good show. Watch it if you have time to kill, even though I spoiled some parts of the show. The final scene of the show had all the featured core skills running alongside each other, it was very heartwarming to see. Just having that build up during the show of the characters who wanted to race alongside each other led to this final scene. It was like a send off to Special Week's character arc, wrapping up the first season with a satisfying conclusion. Well, thanks for watching to the end. If you enjoyed it then, here's another video you should check out. And then like, comment, subscribe, blah blah blah. I guess I'm gonna have to say that type of stuff now, cause now I'm a YouTuber. <laughs>